Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again with another video. And I told y'all I was coming with this one. Um, I used the term in one of my videos and I told y'all I was going to um, have it explained what it is. And as you know, um, always take people to the source. And this is for those simps and sell out black women and they need to stop being wannabes, right? And the gentleman that coined the phrase, I got it here. So he's my special guest for this um, um, video, and he is known as Del Tone, all right? Now, um, before we get started, uh, as usual, let me do my pleasantries. Um, Oi to the bang to the, out there um, in Brazil. Vas is los out there in Deutschland. Um, bonjour, mes amis, to all my French-speaking peeps. Uh, Bawani, uh to my... Uh, peeps out in Africa, the continent, uh, Kedu, to my other peeps out in Africa, the continent. Remember, Africa is a continent, not a state, not a city, not a country. All right, and who am I? Oh, yes. Ni hao, ni hao ma, to my Chinese peeps out in California, um, and konnichiwa to my Japanese peeps. All right. So with that out of the way, um, let me introduce to you uh, Mr. Deltone, and um, he's going to introduce himself and basically explain what a wannabe is, since he's the one that um, came up with the phrase, and it's a colloquialism that is used in the area in which we live, all right? Um, and this, these, these are from the OGs, all right? So without further ado, uh, please introduce yourself, Mr. Deltone. All right, hello. How are you doing, uh, Robbie? Uh, listen to me. I'm kind of a little tongue twisted right now. I, so I, tell us about the term. This, tell this us about term. the term. Okay, this term, I want to expound on it. You know, we it's a subculture in our, our society of uh, this struggle that we face in uh, a white supremacist society. Sometimes you, you, you get people who are down with the struggle, and then you get people who will put everything, including their babies, you or anybody around you, anything. There's no nothing they will sell their soul for. Yeah. You know, these are what we call wannabes. We call them weak ass niggas, nothing ass businessmen. <laughs> these people, they come out and they all around you. You can see them. You know, you can feel their vibe. They they don't care about nothing you're talking about. They have hidden agendas, and anything that you have, you better look around yourself. So um, tell me, tell us a little about, a um, little bit about your background so that people don't think that this is some jobless Negro that was drug off the street and stuff like that. Remember, I told you that, that the people I associate with and a lot of people on my channel, uh, we all have similar backgrounds in that we were wor working men. Some of us are retired. Some of us are not and still working. But tell us a little bit about where you're coming from. Well, a little bit about me is uh, I grew up in Detroit. Been on my own since I was a young one, since I was 10 years old. So I know the struggle. I come from the hood. So as a man, growing up and trying to take care of myself and my children, my, my brother and my sisters first, that started off as a man like that in the hood in Detroit coming up. And then I had to face all the the, the, the knowledge and the people around me. So I'm observing people and, and the, cult, the subculture that's being developed. Uh -huh. So I never understood as a young man, but as I've grown and as I've uh, matured in my career, I've, I've managed to succeed through that struggle and get myself on my feet. I joined the military. I learned all types of electronics. Uh, I was what you call a fire control technician in the military. And uh, it was uh, weapons, computers, and radar. Don't know what that involves, but you know, if you come near us, I would either distract you or I would uh, blow you out of the sky if you try to get close to the fire at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so basically, we talking about another brother retired from the military. I retired from the military. I, I work on aircraft after I got out of the military. I have a Federal Aviation Administration license and an FCC license to work on aircraft and any electronic equipment on board. And 
you are a single black man? Yes, sir, I am. And you're raising children? Three children, to be exact, on my own. Of this subculture that's being uh, developed here, and I coined that phrase, wannabes, and I taught my children that. That's why I coined it. Wannabes. Weak ass niggas and nothing ass biz niggas. You are not going to grow up to be that. All right, and so how do you know me? Well, you're my neighbor. You are a good brother, and I, 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 I'm impressed with you. You're very intelligent, and I, I love what you talk about, your, your mentality, your mindset, and from your positivity. And I told you I trust you to even be a teacher of my children. And, you know. and what do I teach your children? You teach my children martial arts, and I love that. All right, All right and so um, – now, with my proceeds, um, what is it that I do with my proceeds for the people? Now, I'm just asking right off the top. Um, some of the things that you see me do around the um, area with my proceeds, because I'm saying that black men, we need to do more of what I'm doing if you're not doing it. But some people don't understand that some of us brothers on YouTube do stuff for um, with the proceeds that we make off of. So um, you, t you tell the people better than I can. Well, you changed my perspective in a lot of ways. I knew you didn't fit in that subculture category. First of all, when I saw you being charitable and doing what you were doing around our apartment complex, you out here playing music for the kids, you bringing all these positive ideas and being insightful and, you know, just – being into the children, you mm -hmm. you help into the people. Anyone that can that come to you, you don't we turn them down. You're always helpful and insightful and positive. That's what I love about you, you know. So I, I'm fortunate to meet a man like you. I right, I don't know that any and others. Some of the things that I care about for my children. Oh, you give them skateboards. Oh man, the kids love you. You like a pie piper of the children, you know. Right. <laughs> I love that, you know. And we need more of that. We need more of you an example in our society. All right, so before we get on further with the discussion, um, I'm only able to do that because of this channel. And so for those of you all that see the commercial, they, they say, why do you have commercial in this video? Because the commercials pay for what I do here in the community. All right, so it goes to my, I made a nonprofit. It goes to that. And basically, that's that's what I do. That's where the watches come from. And speaking of which, and we're going to talk about this big pimping, all right? All right. So let's let let's let's talk let's talk about we're going to talk about the difference between big pimping, so that we don't get the wannabes uh, mixed up with the pimps, because you got pimps that ain't wannabes; they for real pimps. And for black women that fall for the pimps, all right, you're a wannabe. You think you're a wannabe good woman. But you fall for the pimps. They out there. The pimps are doing what they do. They ain't wannabes. They they advertise themselves as pimps and players. They play you, and then you get upset about being played because you the wannabe. All right? Now, speaking of the watches, um, I'm going to break real quick. And this is Milestone Contest 4. All right? Remember, send all your answers to uh, Refuge Temple Navi at Hotmail.com. It see milestone video number one and milestone video any of the milestone videos that's out right now for the rules to milestone number four. You will know that this is only open to subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. All right, but this is open to the subscribers, right? This month we're doing two. All right, the first one that answers get to pick the color that they want. And then by default, the next color will go to the um, the second one. So basically, you send it to Refuge Temple Nabi at hotmail.com. Send your answers there with the videos that you found the answers in. So basically, um, you don't need to put the whole title, but m the first three words of the video where it's searchable, right? So everybody can verify that you got it from my videos, right? Now, question number one. Name of the black woman that um, presented a certificate of virginity to her father. Did a video on that, all right? What's the name of that woman and what's the title of that video? All right, number two, did a video on this. Cognitive dissonance, uh, dissonance right? 
John Hawkins sold most of his slaves in what is now known as the what? All right. Number three, the stupid that shall not be named video. Who's being interviewed? I'm looking for the famous person, the celebrity that's being interviewed. All right. Um, and it's a he. So the celebrity that's being interviewed. In the tithe video, what is considered a tithe according to scripture? I say that there are four things, and I put the scriptures. On this one, put the scriptures I use, all right? So, you know, just the first three letters, you know how to put scripture down. Put the scriptures I use and the answer next to the scripture. So you don't have to put the name of the video down to that one because the name is already there. Number five. 25-year-old Dante Smith was killed by Pastor what over wife's adultery with the pastor, right? Hint, look for the picture with the church, all right? Look for the picture with the church with the, with the pink sign, all right, um, in my videos. Again, see first milestone video for the rules, and remember to cite my videos if I have not cited them. If I told you um, other instructions like put the scripture down, do that, right? So that I can see that you're paying attention where I'm getting my stuff from, right? Now, I'll come up with the um, 6 through 10, but we're going to continue on. So we dealt with big pimping, right? So let's talk about big simping, all right? And um, let's get on with it. So um, this story about Megan Good, you know, how she was a hoe for all these um, stars and stuff. And then the pastor um, claimed celibacy. And she just, they decided to be celibate before uh, marriage as if celibate, celibacy rules over virginity. Okay? So, um now, we all call it him a simp, and, and your view, does that fit? Oh, definitely. That definitely fits appropriately. You know, you're definitely bowing down to someone who is really a, the scourge of the earth. You know, you're selling yourself out. You, you're lowering your value. If you don't know yourself and what you're worth, you're willing to fall for anything, and you'll, you'll, you'll simp to anything. You know, you got a woman here who is available like access off of a freeway. Now, her access is closed for the moment because of construction. So you saying this <laughs> this is a virgin. There, there's no one ever getting off on this ex. But this woman has got a lot of other scru unscrupulous characteristics. But she's over here with a supposedly so-called leader of the community with high moral value. But they don't understand. They are nothing but niggas. These niggas are of that subculture, and they are exploiting each other, and they are hurting our entire existence. If you ask me, that is my opinion. All right. So, um, so that that was keeping it fake, and this is a picture of the woman. Okay, yeah, that's keeping it simping. <laughs> so that's going to be keeping it simping, right? Um, because I mean that's the way we look at that dude. Claim to be celibate for ten years, then you meet Megan Good, who you, who you know been around the block, and and then you say we're gonna be celibate before marriage. How about she should have been a virgin before marriage? You know what I mean? But that that's not in a black woman's vocabulary. You, yeah. Uh huh. Right. And then they're going to write a book telling everybody they need to be celibate. How about they need to be virgins like this woman was? All right. So look for this picture, y'all. So she's keeping it real. All right. Now we got six through ten. All right. Remember, this is the fourth milestone contest or milestone contest number four. Right. Remember, send your answers to Refuge Temple Navi at Hotmail.com. All right. Who is the brother, the screen name, the YouTube screen name, who is the brother that gives the breakdown on black music and how black women destroy black athletes? And 
the clue is he was speaking about Russell Wilson's relationship to Sierra. So go look at that um, video, right? Um, it's the Russell Wilson video. YouTube name. I went to his YouTube name. All right. Seven. Clinton championship the idea of a federal blank law, and this is Bill Clinton, in his what year State of the Union address. See videos related to the Clintons. So on these videos, when I give you this hint, all you got to do is type in my name and hit Clinton, and they should put up, um, pull up because Clinton, their name is in the title. All right. Eight, there are often the kinds of kids that are called blank, no conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to what? Fill in the blanks. It's a quote from Hillary Clinton. Clinton, excuse me. It's a quote from Hillary, excuse me, Hillary Clinton in the vi video specifically about Hillary Clinton, all right? Number nine, Bernie Sanders got arrested for protesting what in 1962, all right? It's in the video about Bernie Sanders. In, the artic in that article in the video, the police arrested how many of the Chicago blank group also in the video. So there's an article from a newspaper. All right. So now let's get into keeping it fake. All right. We all know about Nicki Minaj and her fake breasts and their everything. All right. So we're dealing with um, women with um, fake plastic surgery to try to implement beauty. And then we deal with another woman with fake morality, all right? And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you about that because you, you, you're into the hip-hop and what it used to be and what real used to be in a woman, all right? Um, go ahead. Yes, I can expound on that. And I, I, I kind of associate that with white supremacy. That is my solution for that type of oppression. But even with that said, this subculture of woman that we're speaking of, she loves her image of being European. This is a woman filled with melanin, but she wants to be bleached. She wants to pull all of the melanin out of her skin, and she wants all of her nappy hair to be straight. So to sacrifice that, she'll chemicalize her hair as long as she can. She'll take these wild surgeries and put her life at risk. Even a couple of artists have lost their mother getting liposuction, all the uh, in fake injections, fake all booties. these, <laughs> yeah, these injections and fake booties and all these wild surgeries just to appease white supremacy. And they lost. And so when these lost people start having babies and, you know, misleading real men who don't have an, uh, an idea of what it is that's oppressing them, these women take advantage of it, and they do evil and foul things in order to assist white supremacy in oppressing the brother who is the king. All right, and 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 and, and back on Megan Good, y'all y'all fellas on my on on my channel know what it is, right? So I, I showed you what keeping it real is. This is keeping it fake. This is keeping it real fake and ugly. All right, and this is exactly what this dude was talking about, um, keeping it real fake and ugly. So um, as you know, this is Katina Powell, the one that prostituted her daughter. And I want you all to look at those blue eyes. Guess what um, the brother was talking about, the blue eyes, the weave. Yeah, the stringy weave and stuff like that. You saw that Nicki Minaj bleached, bleached her skin. All right, and so when we use the term wannabes, all right, and basically, and like I said, this is the dude that coined the term in in the hood, and this is what we call women like this, simps and um, dudes that that 
go after these women and impregnate these kind of women, all right, they, they're, they're weak. Those kind of people don't have knowledge of self. They don't care who you are and what you're talking about. They can't listen. They don't hear nothing you're saying. You sound like Charlie Brown on the phone talking to his mama when they talking to you about that knowledge. Wah, 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 wah. You know, you like you try to drop knowledge to these fools, but they don't care what you say. They don't care what you are about. They they'll pretend and smile in your face, but it's a hidden agenda. You can believe that because they're coming at you. They coming at you, and for whatever it is, you if you allow yourself to be exploited by these fake people, they will destroy your life, and you will be bitter towards them. Now, I have a, um, a picture that's up in um, on one of my videos, all right, and somebody said that was an ugly looking woman, right, and that, that, that picture has something in common with this one, all right, and basically, it's sad when you look at these women acting like men and stuff like that, and you see the the picture in the video that I used as a thumbnail. Y'all go back to it, and a lot of y'all were saying that's an ugly woman, right? Then you saw the picture before this slide, um, this slide right here, and you was like, all right, that might be an okay woman, you know? But y'all don't know, right? And then we got these, and y'all remember how these, how jacked up these women look. You see what I'm saying? Um, there's in my there's a contest coming up, and it's not going to be as easy as this. I made this one, and I am going to ask y'all what the, the picture that I showed before these women have in common. And y'all remember this. What did the picture that I showed before these women have in common with the other picture that I used as a thumbnail for one of my videos? All right. So that's going to be a contest coming up. So for the brothers that really follow, all right, for the people that really follow, this this is going to be harder than this one I just put up in here. Right. And so um, basically, I want y'all to pay attention to all of this. Right. And. The, the dude is dropping knowledge. He came up with the turn. And um, so I'm going to uh, hand the mic back over to him, and he's going to have the final thoughts. All right? In order to uh, nullify this, we must start to educate. And what I chose to do is isolate myself from that madness. What I do is every day I wake up and I give praise to the one most high Yahweh. And I understand that he is in charge of my everything. So I teach my children accordingly. I teach my babies, you cannot be influenced by what's going on around you. Because, mind you, you can't, it's, it's all over. It's on the television. It's on the radio. It's all over. It's everywhere. So in order to combat your children becoming a wannabe, a weak-ass nigga, or a nothing-ass victim, because both of them, they fuck with each other. <laughs> but you know I have to express myself sometimes it makes me angry because I understand the hurt that men go through when they deal with a, a nothing ass gizmo you know when you deal with that you're going to find yourself in a uh, child support court you're going to be separated and you're going to be paying child support because women are using these opportunities to exploit their own black people their own men and weak ass niggas, they doing pimping. They out here exploiting women. They using the the conditions in America with a triple K to take advantage of one another. And I, they need to knock it off. And that's why I call them wannabes. This doesn't apply to every black man with melanin in his skin. I'm talking about the ones who sold out. I'm talking to y'all, the ones who out here abusing your babies, the one out here trying to disrespect and dog a man. I'm talking to you, black man, the ones who abusing children, abusing women. Them the ones I describe as weak-ass niggas and nothing-ass businesses. You know who you are. 
Hey, y'all, and with that said, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>